hear that too much. Uh, this is a great song, too, by the way. This one gets me pumped up. So Jonathan Weldon Carlson, a.k.a. Chance, fighting out of PFSD in Bellflower, Illinois. He's 26. He's a Jeet Kune Do fighter. Shout out to uh, all of our Bruce Lee fans out there. Uh, he says his fighting style is unconventional and tight and plans to be the best that there is. Uh, according to his bio, he says he used to be a fat kid as a child, did not play any sports at all, and now we see him out here fighting MMA. Yeah, you don't see Jeet Kune Do many. Oh, man, I don't, I don't trust a martial artist that didn't get into it because of Bruce Lee. I, I lost one of my and Bruce Lee t-shirts at Miguel Torres' gym about a decade ago. I'm still mad about that. Angelo I think I saw Miguel wearing it, actually. <laughs> it probably have been fit him. <laughs> He's going to have a tough test, though, here, going up against 3-0. and Angelo Sakupoulos. Thank you for taking on that last name. I gave him my best shot. I hope uh, I did Angelo proud on that one. Angelo the Surgeon Sakupoulos right at the drop there. Uh, he's fighting on a Carlson Gracie team in Chicago, 21 years old. He's undefeated. Fancies himself a BJJ stylist and used to be a power lifter. Yeah, he's fought here in the Compass Arena where he won by armbar in the second round, and his last fight was at Ignite again where he won a unanimous decision over at Bourbon Street back in November. So he's pretty experienced, he's coming in all, uh, with a perfect 3 0 record. I just love this score. We got two guys coming in here to do battle, coming into extremely different music. <laughs> All right, oh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is taking place at 155 pounds for three rounds and is brought to you by Compass Arena and Apex Nutrition. Introducing first out of the blue corner with a record of one win and no defeat, standing at six foot tall, tipping the scales at 152 pounds representing progressive freestyle street defense fighting out of bellflower illinois jonathan chance wellborn carlson and his opponent out of the red corner with a record of three wins and no defeat standing at five foot eight inches weighing in at 155 pounds representing Carlson Gracie MMA, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Angelo, the Surgeon, Sakubalo! And your referee for the action is Rob Madrigal. Well, when Carlson in the maroon, I'm gonna call it, and Sakubalo in the black, Sakubalo's already signaled that there will be no glove touch. Oh, he lied. And they touched. Oh. I hate when they lie. <laughs> nice uppercut. Oh, already has the choke in, but no hooks. Let's see if he's able to adjust here. Yeah, a little high on that. So Cooper Cooper steps mount. over to mount. Transition. Going for the arm bar, doesn't quite have it. Transitioning well, though. Trying to work for a triangle now. Let's see if Wellborn Carlson can posture up here. Not going well so far. Oh, not a try oh! Thought that bent the wrong way for a second. And the scramble, it was hard to tell. I, was to I held my breath. There's a lot of scrambling going on. Just like the last fight, we're going to see how they are at the end of this round. It's running that high crotch, stands up with it, dumps him back down. Taking the back, one hook in. He's getting a little high. He's got to stay behind the armpits with both arms until he secures both leg hooks. Yeah, we're going to have Jonathan taking top here, but he's still wrapped up a little bit. Potential back take. And he's out. 
Angelo back to his feet, but he's against the cage and he's eating a few shots on the way there. Yeah, good job on Wellborn for following up with strikes immediately after that scramble. As soon as they broke up, he started throwing. They kind of slow down all the grappling, scrambling a little bit. He's, uh, he's, he's giving up his back here at all. Oh, reaching behind, not good. He's got to work his way back out now. Rolls over. Trying to avoid the choke. It's a good place like he's trying to set up an armbar. There's going an S out there. Oh, he's in a triangle. He's going to have to pull that shin down oh, really that's tight. Locked in now. Oh, when he he's dives under for the leg, it. too. He's going to come out on top. That's tight. So yeah, like almost there. there we go. What a fight. Non stop action from our 55ers here. Angelo the Surgeon Scoopless. Triangle finish, round one. Hats off to both these Your referee, Rob Madrigal, calls a halt to the action at two minutes and 14 seconds into the first round. Your winner, by choke, Angelo the Surgeon Tupelo. <laughs> Angelo, well done, my man. How'd you do in there? How'd you feel? Felt pretty good. God, this was a tough training camp. I worked my ass off, but first and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All things are possible through Him. And second, you're looking at 155 pounds of Greek steel and sex appeal, baby. Ain't shit gonna take me out. My man. Angelo, anything else you want to say before you, before you sign off? And one more thing, if I could get a happy birthday to my baby niece, her birthday is tomorrow, it would mean a lot to me. But I appreciate you guys, I want to dedicate this fight to her. I love my family, I love my team, and I love Jesus. Right on guys, give it up for Angelo the Surgeon Sakupalo. And happy birthday to his lovely niece.